So today, you can see that I'm carrying some baggage. You say, what this guy is all about? My message is very simple. Is that Jesus loves us. Amen. 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 Is that Jesus Christ loves us so much. Amen. Amen. He loves us so much that sometimes I don't understand the love of God. But Christ loves us so much. And I, if I remember doing November, our sermon and our teachings as to be a person strengthened to Christ, to be like Christ, you know, to, 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 to put some certain things in our way so that we can become like Jesus. Amen? Amen. And my message is simple today. Is that as much as Jesus loves you, do you love him? You see, it's very simple for us to say, Jesus, I love you. Every morning I wake up, I say, Jesus, I love you. I make sure I pray before I leave the house. But when I go outside, it's a different story. Amen? Different story. I fall into sin. I fall into mistake. Listen, don't get a bit, um, don't get it wrong. The we that we stand and we preach and we pray, we are all holy and we are all, uh, 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 all good. <laughs> that any preacher that is going to say to you, never sin is a lie. Amen. It is a lie. But the beauty of all is that Jesus loves us so much. Amen. He loves us so much that I'm taking to James 4. If you go to the Bible, let's go to James 4. You know, we thank Pastor Keith for his worship today. Um, I went to a conference. And then they were singing. There was a man that was standing at the front of me, and I was singing as well. Okay, and it was a prophetic, a prophetic conference. So I was singing all with my heart, with all. I didn't know that that man was so amazing, was so touched by my beautiful voice. <laughs> Hallelujah! But my angel voice, you guys have no clue. My voice is, you know. So we have to pay into groups for that man, for, for us to prophesy to one another. So that man started prophesying to me, and he said to me, I need to tell you something. And I said, okay. He said to me, do you know what? God loves the people that sing out of key. <laughs> he said, God loves the people that sing out of key. I felt God in your voice. And I'm saying to myself, is that God is telling you that? Or is that, are you touched by my beautiful voice? He said, yeah, okay. So Pastor Keith, lead us with all our heart and our fed the spirit, amen? God is here with us. Our fed the spirit, Papa. God is here with us. Hallelujah. James 4, verse 7, he declared to us, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Amen? Amen. Then in Psalm 55, verse 22, it says, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you, and he will never permit the righteous to be removed. Amen? Amen. Galatians 6, verse 2, it says, Carry each one another burden, and the as you do that, you fulfill the law of Christ. Amen? Amen. My message today, I've titled it, You Must Change Your Clothes. You Must Change Your Clothes. Amen? Amen? You see, Jesus Christ came to die for us. Jesus Christ came for the purpose of changing our identity. Amen? Amen? Jesus Christ came for the purpose for you and me to be renewed and to be connected to the resources of God. Amen. The birth of Christ was a significant of changing of atmosphere, changing of culture, changing of mentality, changing of the things that we think, changing of what we used to do before, changing and come into a certain Relationship and a certain connection with God Himself. Amen. But without the birth of Christ, 
we could have not be at that position of we having a communication with Christ. Amen. We could have not have an intuit of us going to Christ and say, God, I love you. Then none of us could even have the permission of having the Holy Spirit in within us. We, we would have not even have the right to have worship team. We would have not even have the right pastors, evangelists. None of that would have not even existence because there was a certain thing that people have to choose before they could even <coughs> worship. But the bed of Christ did open a certain door for us. You see, the giving of Jesus did open a certain door for us. Amen. And I am 100% sure I'm not the first person that is telling you that. I am 100% sure I'm not the first person that is telling you that Jesus Christ loves you. What I'm going to do here today, you have seen so many preachers and so many people doing it. But today, my challenge for you is that he said, we need to cast our burden onto God. Amen. We need to cast our burden. We need to let Christ be Christ. We need to let the burden of Christ be significant into the area that we are living in. A wise woman told me one day, see, um, I listen quite a lot and I make my prayer judgment after. So, she was talking to me and I was listening quietly what she was saying to me. He said to me, Tim, do you know um, how you, uh, how did they um, uh, do diamond, how the, the, the um, crystal and diamond, how does it come out to be? And to be quite honest, uh, I have not any clue or I don't have any knowledge how to do that. Amen. So she said to me, to cast a diamond, they use a bigger diamond, amen, yeah, to, to shape the diamond, to, 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 you know, to, to, you know, the women that like diamond, I'm sure most of them want to have a, 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 a diamond ring in, in, in their arms, amen. You see, it doesn't just fall out of, of the sky. They, you know, they have to go through some, 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 some certain work, amen, for it to become a diamond, for it to go on a ring, and for, 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 for you to spend a lot of money to go and buy it, amen. There is work to be done. Who does not like diamond in this room? Please raise your hand if you don't like diamond. I will pray for you as a woman. <laughs> you don't like diamond, I pray that the Lord will give you mind of gold. Amen. <laughs> you see, and some of us love gold. You see, but we don't know how a gold become a gold. Isn't it? And that, why his mom was explaining to me all the way that when you get a gold, the way the gold have to go through the fire, the way they have to mold it, the way it becomes shiny. There is process for a gold to become a gold. Amen? Okay? And we as a church, we want to take us as a church into a certain level. We want to be people that we can actually speak and when we walk out of it, out of our shadow, we will see healings, miracles, signs happening. Amen. And he said that was woman again was telling me again. She said to me, I don't understand why in the Old Testament, when the disciples walk, even just the shadow bring healing, bring restoration, bring power. Amen. What is the difference? And this is what I'm about to show you what is the difference. This is what I'm about to show you. Why me, I use myself an example that when I cannot reach into a certain place that God wants me to reach. And I've been asking, my, I've been asking myself some question, God. You see, fasting is not, is, is not a problem for me. You see, uh, not eating, that's why I'm not, I'm a chef, but you see, I'm not far, I'm, I'm quite skinny. Yeah. Where's my wife? I'm quite skinny. <laughs> You see, I'm not, you know, I, the kitchen, I cook good food, I never eat. 
You see, it's not a problem for me. So uh, the level of my spirituality and the level of my life and where I'm in, I know it shouldn't be like that. I need to be at a certain place as a son of God. Something must change in my environment because Christ, what he did, even when he came, something must change. You see, some, some, something must change. <coughs> Amen? So I, I, I was asking myself a lot of question and I said to God, God, I am on the ladder. Say, God, you know, I'm on the ladder. Come on, man. I can pray, God. You know, I can, I, I can speak in tongues. I can do all such a things. But you declare to me that when your son came, he came and he brought life in within me. You see, he, 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 he has accomplished the blessings that you said that all the blessings in Christ are yes in the man. Why I'm not fulfilling the promise why i'm not carrying the power why i am not seeing the things that i'm speaking you see god i should be the lender not the borrower but i got plenty of debt that i have to pay what is happening god are you dead or oh, can't you hear me or oh, what is happening i said god you send me to some certain place we do things and we see things happening we see things shifting we see people that are progressing because of the grace that is over us as a church but as a church we do not see the progress of what is happening in within our life amen and he said to me he took me to james 4 and he said to me son cast submit give everything to me and I said, yeah, but I said, I said God, you, you got everything. You got everything. You see, I said, God, you got everything in my house. You got everything in within my life. I proclaim to you to people. People know that I'm a born again Christian. People know that they can call me and I will pray for them. People know that I will be there for them when they need it. But what is happening? And he started. Took me to Psalm 55, verse 20. He said, I'm telling you again, cast your burden, everything. He said, he said, have you really given me everything? He said, do you really even understand the signification of what I gave to you? I said, yes, God, I understand. You sent your son to come and die for me on the cross. And I've accepted your son as my Lord and Savior. But then I started to dig in. And when I started to dig in, I find out in my life that I am grabbing the ladder, but I've come into a place that I'm sustained out of the ladder. That even the birth of Jesus Christ don't have the full understanding and the full limitation over my life. Because I understand the birth of Christ. I understand the death of Christ. I understand what he did for me. I understand the move of the Holy Spirit. But have I captured it in within my heart? Have I, have I, have, have I really grabbed it? The Lord said to me, it is time for you to let me in. Because I want to let, I want to get in. Say, so God, how can I let you in? Where do you want me to let you in? Say to me, is that not is that not enough? I don't do the things that I, I used to do before. I don't talk to my friends that I used to talk before. I don't I don't I don't I do not connect into people that I'm connected to before. See what else you want me to do for you? God said to me, it's time for you. To let him in into your heart. Those places that have been wounded. Those places that have been, have been, have been, that is, 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 you put a scarf. Who? Who want to come and help me? I want someone to come and help me to go into my bag. Who? Anyone? Sister Beck is sitting there. See, he said to me, I want you to give me the scar that you have put the scarf over here. He said, but check my bag. I think there's a scarf in there. He said, there's a scar that you have put a scarf over here. And then on that scarf, you cover. And then you just put that blood. You find the scarf. 
there's still there is this calf in there. You see? You see? We need to find this calf. And some of us have put stuff to cover. Why do you find this baby? No find this calf here? And I am still running for Jesus. But that scarf is covering. Hey, I'm praying. I'm interested in him. But I'm not seeing the breakthrough. I've, I've found a scarf here. And I come to church. And you know, we, 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 we worship him. But the same the scarf is still there. Have you found it? You know, and, and, then, and, and, and then we'll be praying. And, and Pastor Keith says, let's, let's release this. And let's tr- throw this back. But I come and I just give just a little bit. But still the scarf is clear. Have you found it yet? <laughs> you know, and you know, and I will come back and I'll go back each the need of God. Say God ask and I will receive. But, 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 but the scarf is, is, is not yet removed because there's a lot of rubbish that I give little by little. But God say it's no it, it's not those little things I want. I don't want your tea. I, 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 I don't want the iPad, you know. I don't I do not I do not want the the, 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 the spoon. I do not want to, I want it to remove that scarf, so the birth of my son will be effective and significant in your life. You see, you see, you see, and some of us is covering our wound. <laughs> yeah, she find a scarf. <laughs> she find a scarf. And I said, Jesus, I've, I've removed the scarf. I've removed the scarf. But God is saying, you need to give it to me. I said, no, God. No, no, all this. I said, no, God. It's so painful. I just say, don't you remember what my son did for you? Don't you remember how, what it cost me? <laughs> what, what it cost me to release my son? <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said, don't you remember even what it cost me that when I release my son <laughs> he said, the king of king the lamb of lamb the prince of prince he said, do you remember where he was born? he said, yes God, yes I remember, I remember I remember But yet, I said, no, God, no. They wounded me so much, God. No, you take it, take it, take it. Take the phone, God. It's okay. I don't want, I don't want anymore to be on my Instagram. I don't want to be any more uh, popular uh, in YouTube. God, take that one. No, no, God. Facebook is okay. Allow it. I, I can live without Facebook. It's okay. It's okay. You know, God, God, you know, I'll give you the telecom on. It, it, it's okay. I can live without no watching these standards. It's okay, God. God, you know, Nippers is okay. You know, oh, God, I'll give you that. I'm going to give you that iPad. You know, I don't, I don't need to be anymore on Twitter. It's okay, God. But say, I don't want the Twitter. Give me the scarf. Say, no. God, it's too wounded for me. It's too wounded for me. Say, God, you know what? <laughs> Every morning, I take at least 50 minutes to have a cup of tea and then uh, listen to what's happening here on a uh, um, BBC morning show. He said, No, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Take back the tea, son. Take back. No, no, God, God, I give you the tea. I give it to you. I give it to you. And then we we'll come to church on Sunday. Pastor Kitty will call us. We we'll come. We we'll leave the tea there. And then you go. But God said, Son, give it back to me, the scarf. Remove. Remove it. Some of us have put. Cover over our weaknesses. Some of us are standing here. Do you know, he said, he said in Exodus 17, 12, he said, when Moses, you see, Moses was giving tired and took a stone and put under him, and he sit on it, and Aaron and Ira hold his hand, one aside and one other side, and they were still remain standing and helping Moses when Joshua was in the battlefield fighting. Moses was interceding. 
And God is saying, I've put this for you. Just speak to this. Say, this, this is what is wounded me. Do you know what? Take it. No, 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 God. I don't know. No, no, no. I can't speak to this. No, God. Because they're going to look up for me. Like I'm weak. You know, they're going to. No. Even Moses. Sometimes we need help. You know. Sometimes we need to get a coach to someone. And sometimes Jesus will send you someone near you. The neighbor that is sitting near you is the one that you need to have help. See? And it will take me so long that I'll give the scarf to Jesus. And Jesus will take the scarf. And I say, Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. I'll give you the scarf. Thank you, Seveki. Lord, I'm set free. I've given everything that is back. But yet still, the bag is still handing in. So God, I'll give you everything. Ha, ah, I'll come to church. Oh, ba, ba, ba. Hey, yeah, mama, I'm praying. Show that I can day. I'm praying. Oh, yes, Lord. And I'm my soul too. And then I'm the owner. Because you shine that up. And God say, son, you gave me the scarf. Why are you not grumping yet the next step of the ladder? What is happening? Remove the bag, God. I said, no, good God. The back is still need to be, you know, hanging, Jesus. Now, Jesus, now is affecting my life. I'll give you the part of the harder things in my life. You know, now, Jesus, I can cross you, my neighbor now, because he said, you know, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should let my neighbor help me. So, you know, God, I'm okay. I'm going to fellowship. And I'm there. And God said, son, remove the bag. Take it off your bag, because I want you to grab the shell. Uncle Sam, can you put the ladder for me, please? God said, grab the ladder. I said, no. Nah. You can grab the ladder, yes, Lord. But yet, there is a scarf. The scar. You know, some of us in our life, we got some, 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 some. We got some things that we are um, 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 comfortable in within it. You see? Even though Jesus is king in our life, even though Jesus is God in our life, some of us have, you know, uh, 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 anxiety, you know, of 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 of, of lying, you know, uh, 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 anxiety of uh, uh, um, watching uh, um, 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 pornography, but then after in the morning we say Jesus. Restore me, help me. You see, some of us have the in, in, um, anxiety of, of, of gossiping, anxiety of, of, of lying, anxiety of, 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 of pointing a finger, anxiety of saying, yes, God, I look good, I look good, I give you this, but still I'm carrying the bag. But Jesus said, I want you to grab that ladder. See, I want you to be like Daniel, you know, like, like you know, Pastor Kate, I've taken her through. We need to be like Daniel. We need to be a, 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 a man that people will not have anything to say against us because we are at a place. But the same thing God wants for us. Jesus wants this for you and me. But what's happening? He said, son, give me the bag. I said, no, God, no, God. No, God, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still holding on on that bag. I'm still holding on on that bag because I'm holding. And God says, son, I want you to, I want you to, don't worry, I won't fall. Jesus is here. And, then, <laughs> and he says, son, I want you to grab the ladder. And I say, God, I can't. He said, grab, grab the ladder. I said, no, God, it's too heavy. I'll give, I'll give you, I'll give you the, 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 the scarf, so now I'm free. He says, son, I want to mold you and shape you like, the, like a diamond. So he said, just take off the bag. He said, no, God, no. And I'm grabbing him, and I can't grab. And I said, no, God, no, I'm trying. He said, no, son, take it off, totally take it off. Let me enter and heal you with that wound. Take off what your mom or your dad declared over you that you cannot do anything. But he said, I said, yes, God, I can do everything according to Philippians 4 verse 4. Christ in me, the hope of glory. He said, no, son, it doesn't work like that. Confection does not work anymore if you don't put action into it. I said, no, 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 God. He created a living me. I said, no, you can't carry. Take the bag off. I said, no, Jesus. <laughs> 
I'll carry it. I'll try and grab it. He said, son, you will fall. If you do not take the bag, you will fall. And I go, I go, I pray, oh, shah, ba, ba, ba. And one day I'm there, and the, and the devil raised a standard against me. He said, you, Timothy, do you remember when you go to work, when you took here, yeah, you took the stick in your back. Boom, ah, and I'm back again. And I'm back again. Because you cry. The bag is still there. Yeah, though, the scarf is gone. But I got some certain stuff. That, you know, when I walk in there, some certain, I just take it, you know. I said, no, and God said, no, no, son, I want to heal you totally. I want everything of you. He said, I want everything of you. My son did not come and die for half way. He didn't come and just take half for that, that wound. He wanted all. And I said, yeah, God, you know, let me try, God, you know. And, and, and I said, God, you know what? You know, let me, let me try and give it that, you know. I said, God, I'm going to try and give it that. I just, let me hang it. And I said, now, God, I'm light. Hallelujah, I'm light, you know. <laughs> Jesus, hallelujah, God. And I'm going to hear, oh, Jaspius is one of the renowned prophets in our time. He said, God, is in London. I'm going to go. Praise the Lord. You know, now I'm holy now. You know, the back is angry. Jesus, ah, he said, ah, you fall down and you go. And I said, God, everything is getting out. So I'm going to go, Jesus. Ah, today I need to receive some prophetic word. He's going to restore my soul. I think, oh, he's up. And the back is angry. It's the sun. Ah, something falling again. I said, Jesus, healing is happening. Then I just go. And I'm trying to grab the sun. I say, he says, son, don't, son. He looked at the guy and said, God, don't you remember? I've let the thief go. You know, God, I've let, I've let, I've let the last. The last is not in me anymore, God. I don't watch any more those things. Say, son, let it go. You're not going to get it. You're going to fall and it's going to get hard. Say, God, he said, when I fall the ten, ten times, I'll rise up again. He said, that's a word. <laughs> and I fall again. Ah! It's good to laugh, praise the Lord. <laughs> the doctor said laughing is healing. Amen. But let me tell you something. Jesus wanted to laugh with him. <laughs> Jesus wanted to laugh him with him. He wanted to bring his total freedom in within us. He wants us to be at a place that no one can point finger. Amen. He has taken me into a place that I am fixing my life, my Hey, listen, I think I can prophesy. Hey, I can pray. Listen, I can pray. I can pray for the whole night. <laughs> but do you think I'm holy? It's a lie from the enemy. I'm not. God is prompting things in my life. He says, son, I want you to be at the top. So I want you to get rid of this. I want you to get rid of this. I want you to get rid of this. So that you can grab the ladder. So that you can be like Daniel. So that you can be a man that no one will have anything to say to you. So that they can point to your mistake. They can point to your weaknesses. But for it to happen, let me in. <laughs> let me in, son. Let me in. And I say, God. Oh, God, just take this one. God, take this one. God, I'm just giving you. God, I'm pouring it out. God, take this one. I'm pouring it out. You know? God, if you want to have the bathroom in the toilet where no one can see me, the nasty things that happen there, I flare out, God. You see, we're entering into December, guys. Celebration of Jesus. But let's celebrate with a different set of mind. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate. Now listen. This November we have spoke about being like Daniel. Being set apart like a discriminating person. And I want to be that. And for me to be that. To God. I'm tired, Lord. I'm tired of this evilness. I want to be like a diamond. I want to go through the fire like gold. Hallelujah. I want to do that, Lord Jesus. 
Listen, out there, those big people that hold all the big machine and big money, listen, they do sacrifice. They don't sleep. At night time, when we are sleeping at home, they are thinking how to multiply their money. That the sacrifice that you go through. You see, all these people, big, big Josh and McDonald's people, all these people, they don't sleep. They're always thinking how to multiply the money. You know what we need to do? <laughs> As people of God, we say, God, you know what? <laughs> we give you, Lord. And then you know what, oh God, I'm going to count it this time. I'm going to count it. And always we say, yes, son. This time we're going all the way, son. This time we're going all the way, son. This time we're going all the way, son. Son, don't be afraid. You're not going to fall. I'm there with you. And I'm there. <laughs> son, son, go, go. I said, God, I'm ready. He said, son, don't worry. Now you can fly. Now you can do the supernatural now. I said, oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I'm doing things that no one can do. Because I've let you go. I'm empty. I'm light. I can't be like Daniel. Thank you, brother. I can go to the queen palace without knowing the queen telling me anything that he had dreamt of. And I can reveal those things to the queen. Without no fear that I will be killed. So this morning, this morning, listen, I'll be the first person standing here to tell Pastor Key to come and pray for me. Because I got to the Lego. Listen, James said that we need to hold on to one another. Maybe you have something in your in your life that you are struggling with it that you can't let go just to be like Daniel. And I'm telling you this morning. <laughs> I'm telling you this morning. I am ready to let go. I don't know about you. If you are ready to let go, I don't embarrass you. You know, in God there is no embarrassment. Man, there is no embarrassment because it's nothing is hidden to him. So if you are that person, then you say, Come on, Tim, man. I'm gonna stand here with you. I'll invite Pastor Keith. I'll invite, I have we have a prophetic team that we have set up in place. Amen. You see. Number one prophetic team is the Isaiah group, which they're going to stand here. We just have 20 minutes. And after we have to clear it off, then we go the Joshua group, which they're going to stand here. Then we have the Amos group, which they're going to stand there. If you think you have something that you struggle with, that you want to lay, uh, you want to lay your head on someone, I invite you to come. They will pray with you. They will, they will, they will push you. If you want to cry, they will cry with you. Hallelujah. See, if you want to lay down a burden, they will help you to lay down that burden. Hallelujah. We will stand and pray with you. Come and we will pray with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See? Mm. Hallelujah.